Welcome back to Kubino Games and it's time for the Fire M. Bison. That's right, we finally built him and here are his stats. We got plus 33,000 HP, attack uh, not so important for M. Bison but he is on a violent will set. Speed, HP, HP with some of these HP artifacts with speed proportional to lost HP. We are testing him for now. We don't have his skills maxed yet, but definitely a monster worth putting Devil Mons into. Especially with this ultimate Psycho Crusher. It's a really nice skill that reduces attack bars, decreases attack speed, and at the same time gives a chance to stun. So imagine that. That's really good because you reduce attack bars and you slow if that works pretty well. Then yeah you'll definitely be able to get to out turn the opponent especially if you get the stun on but generally his damage is based on his max hp so we built him on that hp build all right now without further ado let's go bring him to a guardian 3 guild war let's go we are battling war age and we're going to go look for some towers that you can bring our fire m bison against Definitely trying to avoid water. Yep, and speed teams, cause we're going to bring slow and what, HP heavy teams? Okay, I think this works. Let's go bring our M Bison against this Ritesh. Cause Ritesh is also an HP, what, HP wind monster, right? For the first round, that's a Kumun Vigor together with a Skogul. And for the second round, that's a Jean, Perna and Ritesh. Let's see what we can bring here. For the first round, we're going to bring in our Jamire with the Emesity and I'm looking for our Copper. We're going to do a double Thunder Strike and ignore their defense. Now, here are our monster builds. Here's the Emesity. Not the fastest, but we should be able to outspeed that Vigor who's most probably on a violent build with around maybe plus 160 speed. So at this plus 180, we should be Gucci. We should be able to get the first turn and snipe that Vigor first. Mainly because the Vigor has that anti-crit, right? And here's, of course, our Copper on a Guard, Blade, and Broken Set build. All right. And then for the second round, we're bringing in our Luis. With that HP lead, we should be able to out-tank them. Together with, of course, our... M Bison and our second Awakened Vigor. Yep, we have to be careful of that Ritesh because the Ritesh has that defense break. But we do have immunity and at the same time, we have our Vigor to tank him. Right? Perna is going to go for the Luis. So that's giving more, what do you call this? Fighting space for our M Bison. Okay. Now, let's go MST. Marching shot onto our copper. Thunder strike onto the vigor. Okay, nice one. They're all gonna go, even if that. Okay, no valiant proc from the Skoggle though. So let's go. One more thunder strike onto the Skoggle. Alright. Yep, and three versus one now. It's going to take a while to kill this. Common mainly because the only damage is coming from our copper here and he does have that what do you call it shield on him yeah uh, it's going to be it should be safe I mean unless this common is able to kill our MST then that might be a problem but it's good that you know MST is not being targeted but more on the Jamai who's actually tankier okay yeah, we're going to save that for later because we already took turns, right? And we're not going to reset first. We're going to do Marching Shot and see Thunderstrike. Yeah, he is fire, so we will glance. And now we're going to reset again. Another Thunderstrike. I'm hoping that... Oh man, yeah, but not enough though. Yeah, let's go turn cycle now. Just to get this common dead faster. Alright, nice violent proc.
Oh no. Come on, copper. <laughs> kill him, copper. You can do it. You can do it. Don't let him kill. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. Copper. Alright. Here comes M. Bison with the Louise. Let's go, Predator's Cry. Speed up. Okay. Can we provoke Ritesh here? Can we provoke Jean here? Nah. Okay, no. Well, let's go put in immunity. Ritesh is gonna go, Jean's gonna go, and then the point is gonna lose his immunity or her immunity. Now we can do our S3 and see if we can outproc or, you know, go beyond the resistance lead from this Jean. Can we stun? No stuns though, but ultimate psycho crusher. We're going to reduce attack bars. Can we stun and slow? Okay, nice stun on the Ritesh. Okay, let's go continue to work on this Jean here. We're going to absorb attack bars. Well, technically it should be better to reduce or absorb attack bars from the Ritesh, but because the Jean has that defense break, we're gonna go kill the Jean. Okay, nice provoke on the Jean, but of course she shakes out of it. Let's go bring in our immunity because then she's going to provoke on the next turn. Or not. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. We do have our immunity on. Now Ritesh, has Ritesh tried to go for the defense break already? Okay. But this combo is really nice though. The Luis, M. Bison, and, you know, uh, Second Awakened Vigor. It's so, what do you call it? Elementally diversified. Look at Ritesh. Reduced attack bars and applied with the slow debuff, which is really good. Although he does have that speed up. Yeah, it's pretty much just canceling out each other. Let's see if we can absorb attack bars. Uh, speed up. Provoke. Yeah, again, the resistance lead, but that's why it's good that we put him on violent. Then he's able to, what do you call it, take another turn and lose the cooldowns despite the unskilled skill ups. Um, nevertheless, OP, man. Yeah, this is a really good comp. I think you can actually use this against non immunity teams, but yeah, you see that? Decreasing attack bars. And it's so nice. Alright. 3 versus 1, there's no chance that you know this Ritesh can actually win here or come back. Alright, GG. Ah nice meta from the M Bison and nice defense from Red Hand. I hope we translated that right. By the way. How are you guys doing? We hope you're doing good. And yeah, please do leave a comment in the chat. We want to hear from you guys. And yes, I apologize for a bit of delay on the upload because it's been a very busy week. Nonetheless, here we go. Let's go look for another. Okay, that's a Mo Long Ritesh Perna together with a Kumun Odin and Second Awakened Vigor. For the first round, we're going to bring in our Zing Ze. He's on a Violent Destroy set. Okay, some of our artifacts. Not yet max skilled, but yeah, still farming with the, for the new artifacts. I mean, you know, we spent a lot of time grinding those old artifacts. And then all of a sudden, the patch comes up. And yeah, it's pretty much just thrown down the drain, I guess. Okay, yeah, the main danger here is, of course, the Molong with the Reckless Assault. Of defense break on the first skill at the same time you have that Ritesh with his very own defense break and then for this team below we're going to bring in our Rina to tank this Odin and of course this Vigor 
while we put bombs on them with our Chasun and Ciara. Violent Nemesis, preferably on a violent, no, that's actually you know, violent endure on the Chasun, that's not Nemesis. And of course, violent will for our Ciara. Yep, Odin, every time someone dies, has that legacy of knowledge, at the same time has a second life. It depends if you kill him with knowledge or without. But nonetheless, every time someone dies, he's going to get more knowledge to ignore your defense. Okay, let's go. This is going to be a bit dangerous because we don't exactly have a long immunity time. Okay, nice provoke. Because now we're going to wait for them to lose their immunity. But I do want to kill this Ritesh first. Mainly because, yeah, he has that AoE defense break that can be very dangerous for our Zing Zhe. And at the same time, he also has heals, so... Ah. Yeah, I was gonna say, if the Molong goes for the Reckless Assault, that's not going to be good. We'll have to... Uh, resist it, though. Heal our Zing Zhe. Keep working on this. Oh, no. I don't know. A defense break on the M Bison is dangerous because the Spurner is gonna go hit our... Oh, they got defense break. Uh, by the looks of this, I don't want to provoke the Perna. I, you know, I think our Zing Zhe can tank that Perna. Let's go for the stun on the Molong. Prevent him from putting further defense breaks. Okay, nice. Oh, 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 provoke this Ritesh. All right, defense break on the Molong. Can we get a Violent? No Violent proc. Well, we have to heal up here. Oh no. Oh man, but. Yeah, good thing our. <laughs> our M Bison is tanky. Okay, let's go reduce attack bars now. Hopefully, stun and apply the slow debuff on everyone. Boom! Nice stuns. Okay, let's heal our M Bison. Stun, no stun, reduce attack bars. Yeah, it's really nice how he's able to reduce all those attack bars, provoke, and then at the same time do damage, right? Alright. <laughs> yeah, this is a very scary defense. A Mo Long Perna Ritesh. You know, um, yeah, if you don't bring immunity against this defense, and at the same time, it's very, I like it because, you know, it's very, what do you call it, elementally diverse too. You got water, fire, and wind. So you can't just put a tank to, you know, control the defense. So, nice violent procs. Yeah, he gets a lot of violent procs too. Alright. Onwards to the next battle. This should be good because, yep, a perfect example of tanking here would be the arena, right? Because then that bigger is again water, so he won't attack on two wind. All the while, because there's water, Odin being wind is going to attack on two water. Therefore, you know, he doesn't have an attack power buff. And even if, say, he gets the chance to do some ignored defense damage, the arena should be able to tank. Unless, yeah, no, even if he gets a violent proc, he can get a violent proc, but then he'll lose all the knowledge and he can't ignore defense two times in a row unless he gets to kill someone. Yeah, so keep working on this, what do you call it, this Odin, just so we have an easier time to kill. Because, you know, the thing with this Kumun is, if the Kumun is able to go violent crazy and he's able to, what do you call it, do a lot of damage to the Ciara or the Chasun, then that Odin is going to shift targets to the wind monsters and start killing them, right? I mean, you know, start attacking them, which wouldn't be good because then if he shifts target, he's easily, or rather, he can easily kill those wind monsters. But generally, 3 versus 1. No way you can <laughs> go Valor Crazy. Well, unless he goes, 
all the procs and kills the Sierra, then Chasson and Rina has, have no chance against a Komun. A really nice defense from the referee fouled. I hope I read or translated that. Okay, anyway, let's go look for a plus one that we can work on. Yeah, how about this one? For the first round, that's a Jean, Taranis, and of course, Eladriel. I'm going to bring in our Jolton here for, again, the heal blocks, the defense break. At the same time, someone to tank this Jean in case she's able to violent proc and get us all provoked. You know, um, yep, definitely a very tanky Jolton with plus 40,000 HP and not so fast. Well, you don't really need him that fast, but that speed is good enough. And of course, Rocky for the anti-revive. Now, given that we have a dark monster and those guys are both wind monsters, then no one should be attacking onto our Rocky, right? Technically speaking, unless, I don't know, the, uh, the AI gets so smart. Okay, now everyone, well, both of them have revives. You got Archangel Mercy here from this Eladriel. And then at the same time, you have this Tyrannis again with the two with the one life the passive and of course the forest of living that can revive and put on soul protection so rocky should be a really good bet against those revivers okay all right now of course for the second round i'm thinking we can pull a, a chi wu but, you know, this Chloe with the Fanatic is going to be very dangerous. And, yeah, a double strip on this defense. Yeah, because, again, that sort of discharge has to be stopped, right? If that sort of discharge goes through, it's going to be very dangerous for us. And I'm thinking, I don't know. Uh, yeah, we have our Sagar here. Speed crit damage HP. Again, just like the Wind M Bison, I mean the Fire M Bison, he does damage based on his max HP and he resets and strips, right? We have put a little bit of skill ups on M Bison here. Because, yeah, definitely worthy of Devil Mons. Here's Chiwu's build right now. A bit slow, but can outspeed him. Because we're going to get, we're going to let the Chloe through. I don't know. Well, how about this? Let's make it more interesting. Let's change the Chi Wu. I don't know. Uh, let's play with a little bit of RNG. How about change the Chi Wu with the Wu Sa? I don't even know what the Wu Sa is for. Well, the Wu Sa will provide immunity and shields against defense breaks of this Theomars. Right, at the end of the day, we do have Sagar to reset the Sword of Discharge from the Katarina. But I don't want to repeat monsters, especially, you know, with the Louise, because then, yeah, we can, that you know, that Louise, M. Bison, Vigor, we're going to use that again for sure. But this time, let's play around with accuracy, all right? And the Sagar is not 100% accuracy, but with the Wusa, with the accuracy lead, should be good. Because, yeah, you can Laika, ignore the shields from the Katarina, but that additional accuracy lead from the Wusa should be good. You know, we get to reset the Katarina, and then, yeah, we can just work on them. You'll see if it works. <laughs> Hopefully it does. But for this one, they have no immunity, so we can go for the defense breaks, especially with the attack power buff on the Rocky. Okay, Shatter. Nice defense break. Uh, let's go work on the Jean first, because Jean has that. Yeah, prayer protection. Can we kill this Tyrannis with Soul Crusher? Nice damage. Yes, can't revive. Okay, now, uh, yeah, no choice. We have to work on the 
Eladriel, but of course resisted because of the resistance lead. And now this is what I'm saying, we have a couple of turns for the Fran to get her um, immunity up. Okay, good thing, yeah, we didn't get the provoke there, but again, we do have our Jolton here who's tanking this John, and we see our Rocky here who's just hitting away, you know, no one's really attacking her. Nice stun. Yeah, we're gonna soul crush onto this John so she doesn't get revived. Alright. Okay, three versus one. No revives, everybody's soul crushed. GG. Yeah, it's a really nice, really nice comp against that defense. Alright, let's see now. Chloe's gonna go. Wusa is gonna go and it's all up to Sagar yeah okay Sagar great sword of the end remove all beneficial effects and reset the Katarina I don't know <laughs> that's a GG <laughs> With the oh man, I don't know, no heals. I, I I just I hope if it was something like, yeah, they should buff Sagar, buff Sagar. I'm gonna make a petition. Right? <laughs> you know, if it doesn't work, the skill should not go on cooldown, just like the withdraw you or like a segment, right? Oh, but no heals on our side. And three turns for the TMRs. Yep, that's pretty much a GG. Could have worked though. I definitely. If he wasn't able to do the sort of discharge. Yeah, we have heals from the Wusa at the same time. Oh yeah, now you provoke. Oh man. Well, it's all good. That's a really nice defense from Lu Egg. And no, we're not done yet here. We're going to go Toa Summons on our alternate account, Snoochies. GG War Age. And let's hope for a new NB5 on our alternate account. Alright. Yeah, I kind of lost... Uh, what do you call this? That There was a Lauren there, but... Yeah, she died. <laughs> My, my runes aren't as good as the one on our main account, of course, but yeah, generally still doable, right? With the Lauren. Yeah, it doesn't matter which boss it is, it can do the trick for Toa hard bosses. Alright, let's see. Let's go clear the notifications first. Yep, clear all notifications. And again, we are a man of ritual, so we're going to evolve. That's right, we got a Belita on Snoochies. We are building her. A really nice skill here, Moonlight Blow. Yeah, she switches or replaces buffs with dots. Okay, we're gonna 6-star her. Let's go lightning. Yeah, although I still prefer Martina at the end of the day. But yeah, we'll play around Belita. Let's see what teams we can build around her. But definitely a good stripper for MB Force. Okay, we're gonna summon all of this, not much. But for this account, we do want a Vanessa. More so. Yeah, because this unit, I mean, this account does not have a 33% speed lead for Arena. Um, yeah, we kind of need that for Arena because it's kind of hard to, you know, attack onto speed defenses. With two lightnings? Alright. 
definitely good for tanking that Molong, right? Um, can we get good lightning? Ah, uh, you know, it's so painful but exciting. Ah, nothing. Yeah, really good to summon light and dark scrolls. You know, live or keep dreaming, I guess. <laughs> keep dreaming for Artamiel, Ragdal, or Gianna. I mean, there's, yeah, with a coming, with new coming monsters, right? I don't know what they are. I, I don't know. A wolf man or of some sort, most probably. Yeah, but then you have Vigor. You know, Comptos was like, So you like werewolves? How about a... What do you call it? Werefox. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a werewolf this time. It's a fox man. <laughs> I don't even know. Fox man. Yeah, but like a fox. A big fox. Because, you know, people like the bigger meta so much. Maybe we get a. Uh, what do you call it? <laughs> time for some. No more werewolves, but time for some foxes. I don't know, or maybe he's a dog. I don't think so. Well. Yeah, it was. I mean, did you, you did most have probably you know most you most have probably seen the uh sneak peek of the video for that uh for the new monsters right and yeah there was there was a fox in oriental i don't know i think it was in japan or something the setting was so i don't know what do you think is there something to do with like japan and some foxes okay well there's no chance for the Vanessa. So, yeah, so far no lightning at all. I normally, I mean, if you're lucky, you can get good lightning, you know, after like, I don't know, 10 scrolls, but that will be debated. You know, a lot of people do debate around the rates. Everyone saying like, of course, there's always a chance for every scroll, but what's the probability of pulling yeah, I know there are probabilities. Yeah, there are probabilities indicated like point what zero zero one is it? Man, these are all Toa scrolls. You know, I mean, hard-earned Toa scrolls, and still nothing. There's a point five chance out of 100 to pull an NB5 in general except for light and dark pieces it's a point 35 or even if yeah I mean that's how rare light and dark NB5s are and some accounts just have a lot of them I don't know but yep yeah, not my accounts Come on, dude. <laughs> I was just kidding. You know? Yeah, come to us. It's very generous. Actually, <laughs> uh, technically, legendary scrolls have 6.5% chance for NB5s. So I guess that's better. Legendary scrolls. Three legendary scrolls. 6.5 chance. Better than the 0.5 gets us that's an orion okay orion definitely good if you don't have orion do build him Hello. Is it me you're oh oh yeah that's a splendid blessing of someone for both dupes on this account so I guess that's going to go into another splendid blessing of summon. You know, that's a Charlotte and a Zingze. 
we used Azinze earlier and yeah he's definitely good definitely a good monster for sure okay well yeah we do have a Zingze well it's not it's in the monster box oh yeah and by the way we do have um, you know this guild this Prado PH does play in the Conqueror 3 levels and yeah there's a very good uh, speaking of the Zingze right yeah look at that Ryu very nice and of course Belita yeah I'll show you some defenses in Conqueror 3 levels that we're using that's actually very effective we're, we are in the border of C3 G1 levels so yeah pretty much doing good yeah let me show you okay all right look at this yep so here are our defenses of course yeah where is yeah there you go that's a Zingze together with a Chandra and a Harmonia 62 wins is to 20 losses definitely really good I'm um, not the best runes on them but you know generally in C3 to G1 levels is very good because you know Chandra hugs defense at the same time you have harmonia to heal cleanse and of course that unwanted harmony all right and that's it for today we hope you enjoyed this video please leave a like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content thank you for watching and have a great weekend ahead oh yeah may the force be with you we'll see you on the next one